This past Christmas, I received this MakerBot Replicator 2 3D printer, and I wanted to just talk to you briefly about my unboxing and setup experience, which hasn't gone so well. And, you know, I'm at being an early adopter of purchasing this kind of technology, I'm pretty understanding of what goes into it, but, um, you know, have run into a few hurdles and uh, I'm currently trying to overcome them. But that being said, my intent was to take this Blade MQX quadcopter that I purchased over a year ago. I've really been using it just to get more comfortable with acrobatic flight and learn loops and rolls. Recently I was flying and I had a tough landing and what happened was I lost one of these gears. This gear just kind of slides on to the, uh, to the shaft of this uh, prop and you can see here the missing part. So I've actually modeled this in a, in a 3D program and what I want to do is I want to replace it and uh, print it with, with the MakerBot Replicator 2. So I'll actually post a video, a follow-up of that process once I get the MakerBot running and I'll also make the 3D file available to any of you who want to you know download it and potentially print it. Okay so when you unbox your MakerBot and you first you know get everything set up and plug it in you go through a uh, initialization script so you know I was beginning that process and no less than 10 seconds later I received uh, this heater error so I'm not exactly sure what that means I've looked on the MakerBot support site and have tried a few things but um, that's just one of two hurdles I run into so the second problem I've run into is related to a contact switch back here in the if you're looking at the front of the MakerBot it's the back left it's actually a contact switch that is touched on the y-axis and you'll notice if I push it in hard enough that that red LED will light up that's actually used to tell you know the printer that as the extruder moves back once it hits it it should stop but as you'll see I'll actually run the script and you'll see this thing go back and make contact and that's quite an awful sound and you'll notice that extruder assembly as it moves back it hits that switch but it never it doesn't you know hit it hard enough to toggle it or to uh, trigger contact as you can see from this angle the back left angle this is where the assembly actually comes in and makes contact with that switch so if I move this back a little bit you'll see that switch get pushed in but it's just not enough to to trigger contact and you'll actually notice there's a little bit of offset here so that could potentially be the problem and I'll actually show you this from one more angle now that the you know stepper motors are disengaged I can manually push that up against the switch if I push hard enough on that I can get it to toggle but you know on its own when it goes there it just kind of jams and vibrates and uh, gets stuck in that position what I have done and I, I guess it's just a temporary stop gap we'll see, we'll see is right here on this edge I placed uh, three just tiny strips of electrical tape so that hopefully that will come across and make contact with the switch and all of this is important because as part of the initialization script you know the goal is to be able to le level this platform and uh, the contact switch is ultimately what keeps you know stops this assembly and then allows it to move to its next position okay so I'll run the the initialization script and let's see if we've you know our electrical tape hack job has done the trick okay so it's going across it looks so it looks like that worked the um, three strips strips of electrical tape have now allowed that contact switch to to trigger and um, it looks like we'll be able to move on to the next step so just wanted to share that was kind of my startup experience now hopefully that's the last of what I have to deal with 
but I'll, I'll be posting more. And the goal ultimately is to be able to print RC parts and um, you know I'll make those files available for download in case you want to print them yourself. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.